And now we find verse 20. And say ye moreover, Behold, thy servant Jacob is behind us, for he said, I'll appease him with the present that goeth before me, and afterward I'll see his face. Peradventure he will accept me. So went the present over before him, and himself lodged that night in the company. And he rose up that night and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over the ford Jabbok. And he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had. Now, this is the night. This is the great experience in his life that came to him. Now, you'll notice that he came to this very desolate place, the brook Jabbok at the crossing. I've been there, and I got away from the group purposely, and I took a walk across the bridge that's there now. The United States has built a very lovely road through that area, did it for the Heshemite kingdom of Jordan, and it takes you into that area to see, well, several things you wouldn't be able to see if you didn't have a good road, because that's quite a wilderness through there. And I took pictures of sheep that were drinking down at the brook Jabbok. It's a crossing there but a very bleak place. It's right down between two, we'd call them hills. They're not really mountains, but it's a very mountainous country. It's a very rugged country. And here is where this man came that night. He's not a happy man, and he's filled with fear and and doubts. You see, chickens are coming home to roost. He'd mistreated Esau, and God never told him to get it that way. God would have gotten it for him. And so that night he sent across the brook Jabbok all that he had, but he stayed on the other side because even if his brother came, it might be he'd spare the family and just maybe kill Jacob. So Jacob's left alone. 